Webb's auction house held its first sneaker sale recently and plans more. Streetwear is obviously evolving and, you know, other auction houses internationally are actually recognising that and actually making a special category for that. A pair of these retail for $260, but that price is likely to double at auction. But before you splash your cash, a warning the sneaker trend may not be as sustainable as you think. Very much a trend and you do wonder how much of it is going to be a fad. At the end of the day, it's a speculative investment and we've got to be aware of that. The advice to potential collectors. I wouldn't be investing a lot of money, especially, you know, unless you're prepared to take that risk of losing it. A risk this pair are happy to take, working to turn a side hustle into their main money maker. Jordan Rudd, One News. Oh, there you go. Time to ditch the dress shoes. Sure, keep your Jordans oh. from 84. <laughs> they would. They'd be selling for a lot of money now. Maybe a bit stinky, though. Right, tell us about the countdown because it is on. Super rugby final. I know deep down you love the Crusaders. We're in both camps next. It'll be quite nice at the moment. Right, no accidents or mistakes. That's just a back of That Brian's place. Yeah. So you've heard of my initials. Give them here. L.A. Did you go and have a look at Jacob Israel's channel? Like I linked. Well, I want to give him credit because, I mean, the Lord led me to him. And, and I wouldn't have known about it, but it sort of links to basically what Click's saying. And I've linked that video of Click's, you'll notice. So I haven't found the word yet. I left it on Messenger. And uh, all I have to do is search it. I will find it. Now, the Lord woke me up, and it was a little bit like, it reminded me, and I don't know if you recall the image of, like, the army, it's like, um, like, like a Chinese army or whatever, but they're all in uniform lines. I sort of had that picture at the same time and the Lord said that they're building their army. I think it was um, just less than a year ago. And that they've already created the feat. Now, This I bought um, let's just say self aware and the story it wrote about it being the owl and the monster coming out of the forest to attack the beasts had human skin. That little story, which you may have come across, but you're certain Jacob Israel was uploaded by a man who looks like he's been um, put on leave. He's an engineer, but he did tests. To see if it was aware and um, come to the conclusion it was. So, of course, now he's a nutcase. But the news is also that we know it's 100% effort by the Fabians, of course. You know, the turtles, the turtle, the turtle who. He wins a race, doesn't he? Yeah, that turtle. We're the hare. We've just been <coughs> arrogantly mucking around. First will be last, though. That's the word of the Lord. But yet yeah, in the labels, and I talked about it when I was on the bridge, and then Click brought his information, which was all about... 
the same thing. It's in the clothing, and I showed you my Stony Creek. Even Tribute. It's, it's no accident or mistake that Tribute has a jacket of Stony. It's Stony Creek. I didn't mean to buy it. It's the same as my cotton pants. It's, it's a label clothing that I'm wearing. I wore yesterday at the same time Collect bought his word and something that looked like came from an op shop, which is what I usually wear, but we were the opposites, right? So it's senses in the clothing, but I just believe that the Lord has shown me that it was already completed in the feet, and that's why I have messages from a couple of days back that I've sent to Barnyard Door. It's like my little journal that place. It's like the journal I write in that nobody really looks at unless I put it on video, which I may go back and do. I'm going to get busy and do that. But it's the feet of this army. It's the shoes. And here it is on the main news. These shoe collectors. And we know about Lost Angels. I mentioned that. You will know. Fuck you. Lost Angels. Yeah. And the shoes. And the... I suppose the really the most shocking pair of shoes was the one with the blood in it. And then there's the Jesus ones. And there's the collection on our news today. So that's the news. And God has already given a heads up to me in the word. They've already completed the feat of the army. I will find the word. And that was a wee while back. So, that's your army. Anyone who's got those on their feet. And there's the blood. And the souls. And there's the word which is in your face, on the tongue, right, left and right, the left and right shoes, right, so if you turned up, this will make sense, and um, the conclusion is, go to op shops and not wear, so there isn't anything that you should not be aware of, that the Lord has not given a heads up on, and I did share the word about the feet, and the army on YouTube. So I'll find my YouTube upload where I've read this the word that I scribed on the feet in the army. Um, and I saw it like a like the com you missed invasion like of one mind, you know, all stood up by it from above. That very famous little scene, you probably would have seen it. On um, newsstream media, they do a lot of images like that. So, a heads up from Jesus about the shoes. So, if you think you're going to be cool and wear these items, you just have to remember the army that's cool, fire, fire, is God's army. Dad's army, which is portrayed as a bit of a joke, really. Jump up. But the Lord has said that man is a bad joke. Man is a bad joke. Yeah. Who agrees with the Lord? So, have a listen to the song. It's my funeral song. of The Lord, before I went up the mountain in 2018, I did this, what do you call a ridiculous thing, where... I got my funeral songs together. I did it and nailed it. There's, I've only really got five. I could add more, but 
um, yeah, so dying for Christ is something that has been said a lot. Um, logic before authority said the best thing to do, and I thought it was quite good advice, is to actually think about the worst case scenario. And that alleviates fear. Well, that's a good exercise. But for me, when I was in the bath here at Brian's place, and I was listening to that, and I thought about it, worst case scenario for me, it's not death, physical death. It's not hearing the Lord. It's um, missing it. It's being switched out because God can switch out the angles he showed me. And that was a real shock to me. And that... Don't lose your first love, for goodness sake, if you have come back to it. Because if he doesn't know you, and that's intimately, that door is shut. I will tell you that now. So no matter what you think, you know the truth. And, um, and only 17% 17, 17 of the followers of Clegg, the Lord showed me, know that. See, Clegg has not just what he's shown us he has an intimacy with the Lord I know that because he experiences the glory that's how come I know it so you need to know the glory of God because the fire is coming and she's on the bed rolling around now and it's to try the church the test the saints. But the Bible change says to tr test the spirits. The Bible truth is to test the spirits. But the Bible change is to try the spirits. Well, let's not try the spirits, guys. Because before I was saved, I tried the spirits two years before when the Lord was drawing me and then when I was saved I needed to be delivered from that spirit and I heard it leave I heard its voice and the presence of God was on my left and right my hands had the glory it's the only other time the Lord has sent me upright in bed yes I was sleeping I had been listening to Derek Prince and he said Christians have demons. Yeah. And um, I went to bed that night and I had a dream where I was in the place where basically my roots, you know, your family, your roots, mine is Port Chalmers, not here on the West Coast, New Zealand. Port Chalmers, which is Dunedin, that's where my mum's from. And I know the main street, like the back of my hand, I was there. And I was doing the thing Jesus did, the disciples. I was, people were getting delivered. It, it was like the book of Acts. And then, that was the dream. Then I woke up and I sat upright in my bed. There was a wall beside me like that. And I said this. If there is any, I said it in the spirit. It was the, the Lord Jesus Christ saying it. Yes, I didn't think it. If there's any unclean thing in me, come out now in Jesus' name. It was after I was saved in 1994. And my hands raised to my head immediately. One hand, I was conscious. I knew that my hand on my left, and right was the Father and the Son, one on each hand. And it was like um, the glory, and it was immediately this thing on, up in my head. It came in through my pituitary gland, because I asked the Lord what it was. And it drew it out like you're sucking on a straw. That's what a deliverance felt like it's none of this crap you get 
in the church, oh, we need to, we need to go through this hoop and that hoop. Not when the Lord Jesus does it sovereignly. It came up like a straw and it flew out the side of my head and out the wall. And I asked the Lord, and I heard it sissing as it went. And I asked the Lord what it was. And it was because I got involved with Anandamata meditation. It was just before I cried out to the Lord that I wanted to know what love was. Yes, that corny song by Foreigner, because we are foreigners here. We were always meant to go home. If you understand my channel, you are one that's going home. And we won't go home without you, and we will testify until the birds go home. And the overcomers before the throne, overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. So as Cleck said, don't complain about people who talk all about themselves because it's our testimony. And no one can change our testimony. Jesus is the body of Christ. And the testimony can't be separated. And the blood cannot be separated from the body of Christ and the army is here they've only completed the feat at the stage when the Lord talked to me so I'll find it and I'll find the date and I'll do a part to it it's easy to find but I just had to come full circle because it was on the news tonight yeah my son's band his friends from school they got signed on by Warner Brothers, right? Nomad. A month after they got signed on, I prayed for them. They disbanded. I found all this out after the fact. They're very good. So three of them are quartet. Well, my favourite one, Flattered with Josh. Well, he has now. He's the only one still going on with his music. And his band is called The News. With a K N E W and it ends with a Z because they're Generation Z. And they will reform and they will take Christ Church and navigate a way back because they're not going home without you either. And they ain't even saved yet. And those who are going home recognize those. Who are going home even before they're saved just like the Lord recognized me before I was saved and gave me a story I call it a story before the day of my salvation because I know the day so I just had a wee nap here and before I had my nap I was looking at my pink phone and I found an icon on my home page the Horde to Hell are marching by Rick Joyner. He's the sign. He wipes his blackboard clean. He had a very good word. And the date that that word was bought, I noticed, was on the 16th of February, 1995. It was a year after I was saved. Now, in America, the 16th is the 17th. So there you go, 17 again. It's their word. But I know it, because the Lord knows it. So we basically have redeemed it. Anything we know is redeemed. That's how come we can celebrate with the Pied Piper's song, the ones that are secular that the church will judge us for. It's about judgment. It's about the hordes. They're, they're in the church. You know that the church will persecute you. You know that the Bible says that if you're um, an unbeliever or you don't believe in what the Lord Jesus Christ says in John, that Jesus commands his followers to drag you in front of them and kill you. Now that's not Jesus, but it's in your Bible now. So get your shit together and realize it's a delusion Notice who's deluded and who isn't. Dust your feet off. Don't waste your time. Just get to know the Lord. He will show you who 
is going to go through the fire like Joshua and be plucked like a firebrand, like Russell Brand, red brand, Russell Brand, firebrand. You got that? Because it's not who you think it is. The vessels are good looking on the outside, but what's inside them to be saved? Those whitewashed vessels in the Father's house are many vessels, but they're not one of them. He's talking about the ones that are for noble and ignoble purposes. Some of those ignoble purposes are the sacrifices that the Lord will reward. So our army looks like it's down and out. It looks like it's crushed. But it ain't crushed. They were fooled by what Jesus did. But he came back after three days. And so do his witnesses, don't they? They leave them in the street and they celebrate naked in a frenzy. But what happens to those witnesses? In three days they rise. And how come everyone sees them? Well, look at the technology. It's pretty simple, isn't it? You just have to know it wasn't the Euphrates mirror, uh, mirror that those stones got tossed into. That word from Jeremiah with Jonathan Key. It doesn't have to be those rivers in those places you're just sinking in the flesh that job's been done and Jonathan Clegg that was his work it's fulfilled the old prophets are being fulfilled now and you guys can't even see them okay watch out for the shoes I would go through my wardrobe yeah you can't do much about what you talk if you talk it. Just pray for mercy. Because God's merciful. But really, I think if you were in relationship with the Lord, you would have known. So there's a lot of trouble. And he can switch out the, right, the angels. Just like that. Which means it's like the talents. He takes them and gives them to, some, to another. So, seek the Lord in a way that's like what my testimony is. I'm not kidding you. It should be like that. It should be like that. You're a new creation. 